got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon it up because I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. Look, mom, I'm on camera. <laughs> Famous people and one, and two, three, on. four, five, <laughs> six plebs, right? Yeah. Maybe seven. Maybe seven. Maybe okay, seven. Maybe seven. seven. There, that's the last one. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <him. laughs> I think my teammates got really annoyed by the fact that we had to wake up so early. I usually wake up at like 7.30 every day, so it wasn't too far off, but most of the others don't come into the office until later, so I assume they have a pretty late schedule and waking up at 6 a.m. must have been a very different experience for them. Even earlier than four a.m. Yeah, the first day, but they didn't even sleep that day, so. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all. Me neither. <laughs> Wait, where's your bag? I don't have a bag. You don't have a bag? No. I have my, my fix in his bag. Are you carrying his stuff? Yeah, I don't have a I always carry him. I feel like a vegetable. <laughs> you feel like a vegetable? I'm feeling like a broccoli right now. <laughs> the biggest recipe fan on this planet. <laughs> what? I told you, I'm not gonna be in more fanatic videos. Why? At the end of my career. Because your content is too good for me. No, it's not. You're too good for me. Get in the box. Get in there! Yo, chili chong. Chili chong. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, yes. I call him like that. I don't know why. Chili chong. Chili chong? Chili chong. Chili chong? a bit but I couldn't find my comfy space for my head. Bonjour no seven people? Yeah. Seven? Okay, come on. There's some hobo at the airport. So I would also like to see but I'm scared I'm gonna fall asleep. That's a big ass bed. <laughs> is the bed is big. Yep. I got a little Gucci card as well. Invitation. It's like a three D pop out invitation. What does it say? I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Invitato al mio quinto. Is that rave? <laughs> rave? Ti compleanno. Alle. <laughs> That's what it says. Probably the breakfast. I thought that was really nice. How much bacon did you eat, do you reckon? How many strips? 20, probably. Higher. 25? 30? Took a lot of bacon. A lot of melon. A lot of edamame beans. Edamame? The uh, beans, not beans. <laughs> beans. Uh, what else? Cucumber. I like cucumber. The ham. Parm Parma ham. And whatever Javier suggested. I don't know what it was called. What is it called? Beef. 
The beef. The beef. I had the beef. What was kind of the highlight for you? Probably the apple pie breakfast. It was the best apple pie I've had in my life. If you go get a piece, I'll, I'll eat the rest of it because you have to try it. No, I'm really full. One bite? No. Mm. You can do it, I believe in you. If you go get it? <laughs> That's why, I knew it. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a good piece though. Maybe I didn't do it justice by cutting it. Wait, I'll eat this one. Do you normally shower twice in a day? Is it normal? No. But it's really good. And then you're going that to go out moist. in there or something like that? That is a moist apple cake. It's really good, no? Well, hello there. Come in, come in. Hey. Welcome to my hotel room tour. Hello. You want to show um, us around? Yeah. Here's this fantastic uh, shower and and toilet, if you wanna check. It's beautiful. Uh, we can continue forward here to my big bed. I've never seen such a big bed. I can't wait to, you know, lay down tonight. Um, here I have my Gucci bags. They're, they're amazing. By the way, you look fantastic here. Show us your new outfit. So you got the Gucci tracksuit all up. And the shoes, don't forget the shoes, Pete. They're very important. So obviously when I come here, right, there's two one pluses waiting for me. Like, these are like my wives. Um, they basically, I'm not lonely at night, right? Which is very important as a proper air because you live a very lonely life. Um, I'll also show you the Gucci invitation. Wow. Very beautiful bird. That's a bird, right? Yeah. Um, and then... What kind of view do you have? Have you looked outside your window? I haven't. That's a good question. Uh, it's, you know, it's not too bad. That's all I need as a pro gamer. You think I ever look outside my window or what? <laughs> Thanks for joining me at the room tour and uh, we'll see you at the fashion show. I liked our stylist because every time um, we saw her, all the comments were how good we look. Okay. And do you know what? The cat looks great. Thank you. I'm so glad that we went for that cat. Let me have a look. Let me look at you. <laughs> Oscar's going to be so pissed. Yeah? Here, there's a pepper. Look. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah. Um, Oscar. Look at you, Oscar. Oh my god. Hi. Hi, Pete. I can't imagine how many times a person can repeat how good we look. And she did it all the time. Hi, nice to see you. I'm good, how are you? Great. No, 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 I like it. The hat. Uh, I usually don't wear hats, but if it's free, I'll take one. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, it. I think it was nice. I think it was the best hat. How do you think Oscar felt when you had a hat and he didn't? And Tim also. I don't know about Oscar, but I think Tim was more jealous than Oscar because he was always like giving that hat, giving that hat, and I'm like, okay, you can have it a bit, you know. And then I take it away because I need to show dominance. <laughs> <laughs> this was more like we both realized it looks way better on me than on him, so. We both agreed without saying anything that it should be on me. Fair enough. So he didn't verbally agree on this, he just... I think he realized, but obviously too shy to say. Just give me this, give me this card. Really, please, I'm gonna gang badly. You have money? Yes, I do actually, I can give you a card. I'll make some money. I like cards. Yeah? Yes, Hilly, I do. I like Rirakan too. <laughs> we can make a deal. I need to think of something. If Dwayne knew if his wife was there. <laughs> He'd beat him up. <laughs> Won't be all I roll. Huh? You win that fight? I win that fight. <laughs> no, I think I'll bet on Dwayne. I was bet on Dwayne. Have you ever seen him? This guy plays 15 hours per day video games. Skinny. 
<laughs> and what are you doing? What are you doing? And what are you? And what are you? He's a sport in our He's a stick man. I watch him. I watch him. He's a stick man. But you're a. But I watch action movies. I know all the moves. You know. You're going to miss right. Holy moly. No, but just think these brocks are what? No, no. I want I want Star Wars. I'm a Jedi. I have really, really bad mass and, and strength, you know. But I have good agility. Uh, agility, nice. And intellect. You respect all the points. I love it because you, you walked. You agility. walked for five minutes down the road, and you were complaining about your legs being tired. But the fight is different. I'm fighting for my life. Small. You're fighting for your life against Dune B one v one. Fight to the death. Well, it was kind of funny because when we were like about to arrive there, we saw tons of people outside, right? And Bipo and Reckless said it was some protest, you know? Is that is that for Gucci or is it some protest? It really looks like a protest. Protest! Yeah, it's a protest. I think it's a protest, yeah. Thanks, God. It didn't look like they're waiting like with the... And then um, it happened that we, <laughs> they were waiting us, you know, like the, all the f celebrities that were coming and I don't know, I didn't expect it, but there were like so many people. Honestly, I have no clue why people are even outside the show because they can't get in, so what's the point? Do you know who they were actually there to see? Probably some famous people, yeah. like me. They probably came for me. <laughs> Wow. It's for a protest, guys. It's for a it's protest. A protest. <laughs> protest, guys. It's not for a protest. That guy famous. The the weirdo. Look at his clothes. Oh, oh. He looks famous. What did you see? What he Which did? This guy over there at the walking thing. Yeah. There were like seven or eight cameras, and he had like a blue suit with brown pants, and they were all shiny and stuff. And then he just like. Did like a eight, 180 and they started walking with like the hands like this. You know? They're not waiting for us, guys, so don't worry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh. They're looking in. Like. My favorite part about Milan was stepping outside of the car, and then there was like huge crowd in front of us, and everyone was looking at us, but we were biggest randoms. <laughs> So, what's the plan? Looks like a rev. The last one looks like a rev. Look at me, like through your house. Look, it's gonna be small, guys. Small? Yeah, it's gonna be small. But, uh, what are these rev going to handle? It's a lot of people. Oh, this is nothing. This is nothing? My first feeling was just that nobody knows me, so it's actually kind of nice. I was more of a background person in comparison to usually being like the star of the show, even though I don't want to be. So I thought it was actually a good experience to realize kind of how maybe like fans feel, for example, when they go to League of Legends event. Yeah, there were tons of people, tons of fan girls, because there was like obviously a lot of singers and actors, much more famous people than us. So we kind of felt they're like, we are super no names. How you feel? How you feel? Cold. Cold. So you better you better go inside. It's much better, much much warmer. Welcome and thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Very exciting. Where are you from? Different countries. Okay, so I suppose. But Gucci has brought you together. Joe is great. We've been working together a long time. A long. We met in Berlin. Yeah, we can. Okay. Where are we right now? With a lot of famous people. And me. And, and me. us, I guess. And me. <laughs> a lot yes. of famous people and a lot of plebs. Look, mom, I'm on camera. <laughs> a lot of famous people and one, two, three, four, five, six plebs, right? Yeah. Maybe seven. He, 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 okay, seven. He, he's seven. There. There, that's the last one. Oh, <laughs> I watched a few fashion shows before, right? And I just expected at the peak, I wanted to go straight and back, right? But like in the normal place. And the only way that was like, it was a big ball in the middle. It was like going boom, boom, you know? It was really, really cool, made up. And the, the whole arena was like, not, not like an esports arena. It was like wooden, uh, like wooden chairs or something, like benches. And there was sand, so super dark. And we were like sitting in the circle.
So what do you think, Martin? It was different. Very different from anything else you've experienced, eh? Yeah. I expected it to be much longer, honestly, because it was like 10 minutes and it was over. But it was still cool. Like actually, after that I kind of started to like fashion more, you know? It's nice to see all those unique clothes that you don't see every day. During the fashion show, there was some guy that had like, um, like really fluffy hair. I just instantly thought like my cat was sitting on his head or something, you know, it was really funny. I think I should be there. You mean as a model? Yeah, when I watched all of those models, I was like, what the hell? Why am I not there? And what are we gonna do now? Have lunch, I think. What kind of food? Italian food? Pizza? I don't pizza. know, pasta? I'm taking pizza, that's for sure. And then second favorite part was when we went back to the car when we left the show and I went out with my OnePlus showing everyone, showing the car how it's done. Did you like it? Nice. Did you just walk through the paparazzi with your OnePlus? No, noops. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> He's really trolling. It was just a very cool experience and I would definitely, definitely go again if I was invited. Just the same fact that we got invited to go there by such a big company like Gucci is already a privilege and something that might not ever happen again in our lives. It was actually pretty good team bowling, I think. Like, people realize it, that like, we're not that, that big of a deal. We're doing well for like we're doing well for ourselves and hopefully for each other. And but still, there's always bigger fish, and and that's I think what what, what we realize is that uh, you know the bigger fish are a little bit too big. You know, like we're like Nemo and there's goddamn whales flying around. You know, the highlight for me was hanging out together outside of the game. I, I just thought hanging out was the highlight.